thanks to this guy, now we have a better Quen Image Edit in painting model. So as you know, the Quen Image Edit is a really, really good model from Quen that can do, well, image editing. <laughs> so you give a prompt, for example, you give a prompt to put a beard on someone and then it just do it. Like the Google's Nano Banana that everyone is talking about right now. <laughs> but I refuse to go with the trend. Why do we need an in-painting version to do in-painting if the model can already perform pretty good edits? Well, the thing is, it does a little bit of changes on the image. And if you do too much changes, it messed up the image at some point, okay? Even the Nano Banana does that. Although very small changes, but it still do it. The Quaint Image Edit is pretty good, but it does a little bit more changes. And those changes over time will screw up your image. This in-painting Laura from this guy, the Ostris. So if you are interested in AI training, you should definitely watch his channel. But what he did was he trained a LoRa so you can input an image with a mask, in this case a mask with pure green, and then it's going to in-paint only that mask. So I'm gonna show now here in the screen a difference between the Quaint Image Edit using the LoRa and the Quaint Image Edit not using the LoRa. So as you can see, the regular Quen does a pretty good job, but it changes a little bit the image. So you can see a little shift, minor changes with this LoRa, it's pretty good. I mean, you can see here, almost no changes. You can see a little bit of noise, a little bit of extra noise, but that's because I'm using the Q3 variant. If you use a higher quantization, you most likely not gonna face this problem. So it's very minor, doesn't bother me that much actually. The actual in painting is now perfect. Everything is exactly the same, no shift, no changes, just the headphone. Oh, actually, now I'm noticing it puts the rest of the headphone here. <laughs> I didn't notice that. So yes, it, it sometimes goes beyond the mask. But even though it does that, the rest of the image remains untouched. Just make sure that when you're painting, you go to here, open in mask editor, and here select the brush, and then you need to choose a pure green. So select here the color and this green won't be here. So you're gonna have to click custom and here you need to input this 00FF00. So you press enter, that's the pure green. Now you can do the thing, okay? And that's it. So you click save. In this case, I'm gonna click cancel. I tried here with this Flux Crea image, the regular Quen does quite a bit of changes. So it shifts the image quite a bit in this one. But here you can see it's just the same image. Okay, so it's perfect. And the hair looks pretty good, except this part is a little bit weird here, but uh, I guess that's my fault. We can now finally do very minor changes in images without screwing up everything else. <laughs> so I'm gonna put a link for his workflow in the description along with his video where he explains everything, how he did it. And I'm gonna put also a link of my workflow that uses the GGUF version and the Lightning LoRa. So it's much, much faster. And as you can see, it works pretty good. Well, that's it for now. Let me know what do you think and don't forget to subscribe.